People often ask me about how to set up a Waves LV1 mixing system and it can be a bit confusing at first. So today let's look at everything you need starting with nothing. Uh, I'm Joe, let's go. Remove that part. So the Waves LV1 mixing console or mixing system is basically just like any other console. The only difference really is that with all of the other uh, digital consoles, you get everything in, in one case. Uh, and with Waves, you have to put all of the pieces uh, together. So let's start with the first piece. Uh, we obviously need I.O. Ins and outs. Uh, so uh, there are a few different options. This is the Waves Ionic uh, with 16 inputs and uh, 8 outputs plus 4 more. So in total of 12 outputs. Uh, this is the first piece. And uh, uh, this is actually just uh, a way to get things in and out of the, the console. Uh, so uh, in order to do any processing, we need a brain. So in Waves land, it's called a server. So uh, looks like this. This is actually two servers. Uh, and uh, you, you really only need one. Uh, I have two and uh, sometimes this is for, for backup. Uh, and if I need uh, just a, a lot of power, I use uh, bo both of them. Uh, but today, let's just use one. Let's place this over here. Right, so we have the ins and outs. We have the server for uh, plugin processing. Then we need a host to control everything. So in the most basic setup, the host can be a uh, laptop. Uh, I would prefer a PC, but uh, for now, let's use this Mac M1. Then you obviously need the uh, uh, the, the software, the, the license for the, the LV1. Uh, I have this on a USB key, uh, and that way it's easy to move this around for, uh, if this would, would crash, then I can just bring in a, another computer uh, move this uh, USB with the license and be up and running again. Uh, and since this is a Mac, we need a dongle, of course. So let's uh, insert this one and fire up LV1. So we have the host with the uh, license for the LV1 and all of the software, uh, server, I.O. Let's connect everything together. So we need a switch. Um, the easiest way is to use the, the Netgear uh, GS108, um, eight port switch, which is uh, supported by Waves. So let's put this one over here. And uh, actually let's power it up as well. Um, then we actually just need a network cable going from the switch to each of the, the units. So let's take this one going to the server. Another one going to the IO. And then this one will uh, be at front of house, so you would need a, a longer uh, network cable. Uh, today, let's just use this one. So going out from the switch and all the way up to front of house, where we need a certified, Waves certified uh, network dongle. Uh, I used this one and let's connect a second dongle and let's connect this uh, network cable. Uh, so basically everything is connected to the to the switch. Uh, all of the de devices uh, meet up in the in the switch. Uh, so let's turn these on. 
All right, so everything is connected. Now let's add all of the devices. So in this case, it's the uh, Ionic and also the server. And now we are up and running and actually let's test this. Let's connect some music and let's connect this going to this speaker. Uh, and let's see, we have music coming in on channel one and music coming out. So in its most uh, simple form, this is all you need. The host uh, that you have uh, on front of the house and up on stage, you have a server, uh, a switch and the IO and then just connect everything to the switch. Uh, so uh, you can run a Waves at one system on uh, just these things, uh, but you can also uh, connect a few more things. So let's take a look at that. So one thing you might want to connect is the app so you can run everything of the uh, iPad. So in order to connect the iPad, we obviously need a wireless router and just about any router will work. Uh, and this shouldn't be connected on the uh, SoundGrid network. So let's connect this to the dongle where I have the USB with the license. I have a, a network port on here. So let's put this one over here and let's just connect the wireless router to the external dongle. And then you just connect uh, to the router and start the uh, My Front of House or the uh, My Mirror app and everything should work. And see. And now you can run the whole show from the iPad. So if you want to take things even further, next step could be to add some faders. Uh, so uh, this one also is from Waves. Actually, you can use any MIDI controller with the Mackie Huey uh, controller. So uh, this one uh, is connected via uh, USB to the, uh, to the host. Uh, and then whatever you do on these faders will show up here. But as you see, things are starting to be a bit messy. So uh, if you're doing more than just the, the laptop, uh, I would suggest building everything into a case. And luckily, that's exactly what I have done. Most of you will probably have a setup uh, similar to this rather than just uh, a laptop. And while you can run everything from a laptop, there are a few extra features in this uh, setup. So uh, let's have a look. So instead of the laptop, I have a, a PC inside here. It's a uh, Intel Nook. Uh, to that PC, I've connected this uh, touch screen and also this uh, fader bank. So everything I do uh, on the faders are reflected up here and uh, the other way around is also true. And I also have some extra IO uh, inside of, of, of this box. Uh, in this case, I have the uh, uh, DigiGrid D. Uh, so I have uh, headphones coming out of here and I can connect uh, a mic and uh, background music uh, in, in, in the back. When you're running the system with just the laptop, you cannot really connect any uh, headphones or, or talkback uh, microphone. Uh, so uh, this is a more user-friendly setup, uh, even though it's of course bigger and more expensive. And since I have uh, some extra I.O. Uh, in, in this box, I also have an extra switch. Uh, so the basic setup is that you have one switch up on stage and one switch uh, on front of house. Uh, then you connect a, a, a long cat cable between those switches. So up on stage, everything is connected to this switch. 
I have a long cat cable going to a switch inside of this box where everything is uh, connected. And in this case, it's just the uh, Digigrid D I.O. and the host uh, computer. So that's basically it. You need the host in order to control everything. You need the server uh, for plugin processing. And then you just add I.O. wherever you need it. So in my case, I have one uh, uh, I.O. device uh, on front of house with four in, four out. And up on stage, uh, right now we have 16 in and 12 out. But uh, you can add as many of these devices as you want. Uh, well, you can add up to 16, uh, but that should be enough. Uh, and really just place them wherever you want and uh, connect them to the switch, either up on the stage or the switch at the uh, front of the house. And if you run out of power, just add more of the servers. You can have up to four servers and four more for uh, redundancy. So that's it for hardware setup. In the next video, I will show you uh, how to set up everything in the host. Take care.